so well. I don't even know all the footage that I have. Some footage I think I took, I tried to ask my cousins to take some footage, so, but in the end, it was really, really good. My father was extremely surprised. Um, literally, we were walking up to the building and at the corner of the building was my uncle's car. And my dad was like, is that Junior's car? <laughs> And I was like, what? What car? I'm like, out of all the cars, maybe somebody had a car similar. And then like two minutes, two seconds later, he's like, I think I see Junior's head in the window. And then while he may have caught on a little bit that my uncle was there, I had already told him my aunts were there. So I guess that really wasn't too much of a surprise. But when we when I opened the door of the restaurant and I do have some footage, I'm going to put it in. When I six o'clock flight out so I will be probably trying to head out and be on the road by three o'clock I never Love you, baby. See you later. Front door open. See you later. <laughs> everyone? Uh, I think we are still waiting for Deborah, but she might be 
otherwise engaged. So let's just give her one or two minutes and then we're, I think we can get started. Uh, my name is Tiquis. I am actually the treasurer of um, PAWC. Um, but on our e-board, we share responsibility and creating programming and just different initiatives that we would like to bring to the agency. I've been in meetings, trainings, just talking, uh, brainstorming, working. Like, I am so exhausted. I literally have a meeting at 1.30 and it's 1.20. And I was going to forfeit lunch, but my head is hurting, so I got to run out. I'm going to be late to my 1.30. So, yeah, like I was saying, I'm going to be late to my 1.30, but I don't know. I'm going to grab something from Jolly Bees upstairs and then I'm going to head back to make this meeting. And then I got to try to get an email out. Oh my god, I'm so exhausted. Like days like this just drive me up the wazoo. coming on to the call my apologies for my lateness just heard the last bit of um, information as far as new hires including staff auditors not just interns um, we're gonna do one orientation is that what you were talking about <laughs> headed to the train and uh, hopefully I can make it to the nail salon and then I have time to get my nails done. because my everything has woo, woo side down um not i'm back home but guys my day was so crazy today actually give me a second let me explain something all right this is my dinner i got some halal food this is chicken over rice with some white i think it's greek yogurt sauce let me open it Hmm, look at that. 
delish. And these are my nails. I got them simple, just plain um, clear polish. Got them cut down a bit too, because um, I need my nails to be clear um, next week. My nails. So I changed my clothes, got into something more comfortable. Um, and uh, this is like the first time I'm actually sitting down and talking. Like the first time I've ever I had even any time to talk. Um, I mean, give me a second. Let me get a tripod. Hey, so no fine time for me to want to explain things. <laughs> but hmm. Just in case for those of you who may be new here, <clears throat> I um, am an auditor. So I work in internal audit at my job, for my job. Um, and when I just say the day is crazy, what happens is a few things happen today. One, I'm on the Women's Council for my job. And a part of being on the council, being on the executive board is coming up with programming and just initiatives to offer the staff throughout the year. Um, and I've kind of, I'm treasurer, but I'm also taking on a, um, an events coordinator role. Um, so I am currently planning, brainstorming, um, future programming. So my first meeting this morning had to do with an initiative that we're trying to push out for October for Domestic Violence Awareness Month. Um, and we're trying to collab with other, what they call EBRGs, Employee Business Resource Groups. So um, I thought to collab with PA Pride, that is the LGBTQ, um, employee resource group so we're going to collab with them so that was my first meeting that was um where i was sharing with them my my ideas and different things that i want to do like bringing a speaker i want to have you know have maybe a counselor or someone who can kind of give us like you know what to look out for and how to identify if you're you know if you're part if you're in a relationship that's likely you know that's on the border of being abusive um or are you around people and you know you could be around a loved one a friend and they could be experiencing it and it's right under your nose you know or you could be a parent and your child could be experiencing it so it's a sensitive topic um so i just want to get someone who is trained mm. i want to get someone who is trained to speak to the staff about this um so just throwing out ideas to the PA Pride Executive Board, seeing if they were willing to join with us. They they said yes. So I'm just going to do a little bit more research before I plan another meeting with them. And then after that, I had a training. Um, as a part of my job, we have to have 40 hours of training. It's a part of a continuing professional education uh, requirement for auditors. We have to have, excuse me, as I mentioned, 40 hours of training every year. Excuse me. And um, so I did a training um, and then I worked on my review, my audit that has to go out. And I, I am also helping, assisting another auditor on their review. So... Literally, literally, there's a lot going on. And then in the afternoon, I'm a part of a committee that helps new staff with onboarding and learning of the agency for audit. And we have a few interns and new staff auditors come in. Yeah, I just got hired. So, because I'm on that. Um, we had a meeting about that too, so work, some of it is the actual work, 
some of it has to do with the job but not necessarily audit work so it's just a, it was a lot going on today um yeah so now i'm back home i went out and got dinner because i just could not come home and cook after that most days when i go into the office i'm not cooking when i get home um I do try to cook on the days that I'm working from home so that we have leftovers. Anyway, I don't want to sit here and eat in front of y'all. But, um, yeah. The call of the night. More than likely, I am going to do a little bit more work. I do need to work on my resume. Because I am going to apply for another position in audit. Um, the level that's above me. I'm going to apply for that. So, yeah.